Welcome back guys. In the previous video we discussed uh, how to go ahead and do a query and get all of the products, uh, product categories and in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to go ahead and display all of those product uh, categories on the categories page. So you can see we already got the data uh, and then we can just loop through it. Okay, if you haven't watched the previous video you can. Uh, the list for the entire playlist is going to be there in the description so you can take it from there. Awesome. So let's do this. So what we can do is instead of making this component dirty and making it big because remember if you make it too big means complex. Complex means problem. Later on if you have issues, if you run into problems, it will be difficult for you to debug. So let's keep it simple. Let's uh, make it isolated. Okay. Separation of concern. What we're going to do is we'll go to components, create a directory and we'll call it as category or let's just name it as oh category is fine I think and then we'll have another directory inside of this called category block and this is where we'll keep our parent category block so we'll name it as parent categories block dot js okay and uh, Let's just create a functional component. So we'll say at const parent categories block and it's going to need the props. Okay, and then this is going to return some code. Okay, and then let's just do export default parent categories block. Okay, and let's we'll just import it over here because we're going to need to loop through all of the data so we'll say parent categories block and this is where we need to pass the parent categories so we can pass this to child component using props like this and now we can just pull it over here so we can say const pull it out of the props okay awesome So this is basically our container for um, our child block, child parent category block where we'll loop through and you know show all of the categories data like name, uh, image, etc. So let's just give it some class. So let's give it a class name of product container because we've already written some class on that. We'll give it a row. We're already using the bootstrap. So dflex justify content center to bring the content in the center okay and then we're going to loop through this product category so if product categories uh, data is available so we'll say dot length because it's an array then and only then we can loop through it otherwise we'll just return nothing okay so and I'm, I'm going to say product categories dot map and this will be product category and let's use another component rather than making this dirty so we'll just say parent category block dot js again we can make a functional component parent category block and this is going to be a functional component with using a arrow function return let's just return something from here and let's just say export default parent category block okay so we're just going to use that component over here so we'll just say parent category block and we're going to need to pass two things the first thing is the key because remember if you're looping through uh, items in an array react wants us to use a key so we'll give it a key so remember in the data we do have the ID available so we'll say product category dot ID okay and uh, then is going to need the category as well so we already have the product category available so I'm just going to use that over here uh, let's give it just name of category you can name it whatever you want but you need to pass this data 
So I passed this data now and now that category is available to me in my component. Okay. So are we missing anything? No, we don't. So you can see that this product categories and it's got the IDs. That's what I gave it product category dot ID. And then we are passing the product category. So each element will be passed and we're looping through this entire array. So it's going to be looped through loop through three times. Okay. Awesome. So going back to our product category block, and this is where we are going to get all of the information and we are going to show that. Okay, so remember that we are passing the product category, each item of the array as category uh, props. So we can just pull it off using object destructuring of ES6. So we'll say category is equal to props. So we're just pulling it from the props. And of course we need to put that here. Awesome. Next up is um, let's just console category and see what we get inside of this and we can remove the console from the rest of the place as we don't need it. Okay, so let's see what we get. Let's refresh. It's refreshing in the meanwhile, we'll come back here and check. Great, so you've got each individual items uh, each time over here, awesome. So let's just do a div, which we already done, and then just give it a class name. And I'll say column large three, column MD six. We're using grid system of bootstrap grid classes, SM12. So I want to show four items in a row when the screen is large. Uh, two items when it's medium and in small I want to show just what one item of the category so that's why we use that and let's give it a heading of uh, let's give it a card name sorry class name and let's say card header text center and then we'll just give it a category name which is the title basically so if you remember in category we do have the category name available so if you check you have the name right so now you can see maybe you've got the names available awesome next up what we need is the image and if the user clicks on that image it should take you take him or her on an individual category page right so let's do that so let's say link so we need to import link from next year so let's just do that on top so import link from next link okay and we'll say link and then we'll say as and remember what we did in a product i want to show you so and then we had to actually show our individual products so going back to our index.js then we had the product and inside over here to get the clean URL, we are using as. This was our actual URL, right? And we're using that as basically, all right? So that you the user gets to see the clean URL when he goes onto that product. So let's just copy this. Go back over here. And let's just close the link, okay? So this was product, we'll change this to category. And this was product, let's just change it to category. Same goes here as well. So let me explain to you what's going on over here. So we are going ahead and saying that whenever the user goes ahead and comes with a slug of category slug with some product ID, go ahead and show the link as this cat slash category slash slug and then the ID dash ID. Uh, the reason we are passing the ID is because uh, we'll be able to split that information from the uh, query params, uh, sorry, from the URL and then we'll be able to use that ID to show individual category page. So currently we are on the categories page which is going to display all of the categories but if I want to display only one category and then display all of the products that are related to that and then we're going to need to have the category ID to be able to fetch the content for that. Awesome. So that's coming back over here. Inside of the link, we can have the A tag. And now we don't need this. 
This is how we write the link in Next.js and then we use image tag and image is going to need the source. So inside of the source we can say if category dot image is not null because remember some of the products may not have the image so you need to check that then and only then it's going to be category dot image dot source URL it's actually URL let me show that to you okay let it load where is it stuck what did I miss okay I've not written it properly here okay there you go awesome so now you can see you've got the images being displayed great guys congratulations you've got the category to display on the categories page it's brilliant now on if you check the data what we're doing over here is we've got the category name which is this we've got the slug which is this and then we're passing the ID it won't be product ID it would actually be just ID I believe because we don't have product ID here we just have ID All right okay and um, then we are using the image so we're checking if the image is not empty then go ahead and grab the source URL out of that which is this category dot so category dot image dot source URL awesome now if you do an inspect element of this so let me show you how, how that looks like. So you have the clothing, which is this category dot name. Then you have the URL, which is href slash category slash the slug dash ID, right? So the actual URL is this, but we are going to show that it's going to be this because this is more clean URL rather than saying, uh, you know, using query params like question mark and slug is equal to so and so, right? Awesome. And then we are showing the image, which is basically this. Awesome. So we've got a category page going and there is just one more thing that you need to do. So what you need to do is basically just go on to, let me see. Yeah, go to now.json. So if you remember in a previous video, we had said this route because you need to tell Next.js that anytime, whenever the URL comes like this then go ahead and you know consider it like this okay so that's why you need to tell um, Next.js for that so you need to put that in the configuration file which is now.json and over here instead of product we can now say category right so anytime you get a slug with the with the question mark like this then just consider it as, as a slash with and you know use use it like uh, the as that we've just shown you over here okay so we set that configuration here great and of course since we have uh, created this this option this link we also need to have a single page for the category so let me just create one category dot js so let's just quickly do this const yeah. category is equal to const and then arrow function return something let's just return single export default category awesome let's try it so now if I go ahead and click on any of these there you go you are on a single of course I haven't got the layout that's why you don't see the header and the footer but you get the idea you can see now you have a clean URL available awesome now in the next video what we're going to discuss about is showing the content on the single page and to be able to display all of the content on the single page for the product that are related to that, this particular category see you next and I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up do subscribe to my channel uh, please follow me on on github and to support my work please give it a star i already have 25 people supporting me i'm sure you'd like to be the next one so please do that motivate me to do better and more, contribute more to open source to make to help people learn and you can also follow me on twitter see you in the next video take care bye, -bye.